Hey guys, welcome back to Final Fantasy 7. It's not 7, part... God bless America. Final Fantasy 10, part 7. Because <laughs> I was thinking, what if I was 7 and it was part 7? What if I was playing 7 and it was part 7? Haha, <laughs> that'd be funny. Fucking damn it. Now chat's gonna make fun of me. Whatever. Ugh. Yep, there we go. <laughs> oh, D is for Lysdexia, alright? I learned- I learned it from you. I learned it from you, mod. I learned it by watching you. Yeah, my faithful chat, whom I love dearly. They are mocking me mercilessly. Anyway, let's get on with this. And I'll let them mock me. While it happens. Uh... Let me... Check on Kimari. Okay, we don't need to worry about any of Kimari's skills until a little bit later. <laughs> Excuse me. You're blessed with it. Yeah, alright. Okay, let's leave Jose Temple. Make sure we've got our panic save. We do. It's good. And now you guys understand why I make panic saves. <laughs> Crusaders have fallen apart, so I'm going to help out with guard duty here at the temple for a while. It's the least I can do to repay them for taking us in. You can't defeat sin with Machina. The summoners are our only hope. Yevon's teachings are the way. The Crusaders were fools for defying them. Here, take this. I don't need it anymore. Halberd. Is it better than the one that Kimari currently has? Or the Hunter's Fear that he has? Oh, shit! Um, we're gonna keep that. We're not going to equip him with it, but we're going to keep that. Um, I can't remember if there are Basilisks on the way over here, so we're just gonna keep the Soft Ring until I'm certain they're not. Hey! They're off! Off so early? Lady Yuna, you must be exhausted after working so hard last night. Will you be okay? <laughs> I feel that I have rested enough, but thank you for your kindness. Will you be leaving too? Yes. First we cross the moon flow, and then we head north in search of chocobos to replace those we have lost. Once we find chocobos, our mounted forces will ride again. Huh? Aren't you missing someone? Captain! Wait for me! What took you so long? We're leaving. <sighs> you expect me to keep up with a chocobo? Lady Yuna, I wish you good fortune. Elma, Clasco, let's go! Ma'am. Hey, can I just rest a sec? No complaints. No, oh, can't even interact with Yuna. <clears throat> Where to next? We cross the Moonflow. Gotcha. Moonflow, baby, here we come. I love the Moonflow. This stretch, not so much. Not much of a wound. I should be able to go on, but I can't. We've always fought side by side. Now we go back home together. At least you guys have each other. Hey, Shalinda! Good day, everyone. We can all learn a lesson from what has happened to the Crusaders. Only the truly faithful have a hope of defeating sin. And we're not playing Final Fantasy 7, we're playing Final Fantasy 10. Part 7. Chat. I'm thinking of going to Guado Salam. I have not spoken with a Guado for some time. <laughs> can't, you can't help that your friend's a moron, I know. Oh. 
Let's see. Oh, that is a frozen. So you need someone with magic skills. Land, I believe. Yeah, it's a snuff land. Oh, the one thing that actually bothers me about this, um, I will say the one thing that actually bothers me about ten, um, because. <laughs> Thank you, Titus. Uh, holy is still an element, and it's still a spell. Um, so for... Uh, but they call ice magic, instead of just calling it ice magic, they call it white. And I'm like, no, white magic is like holy magic, like cure and everything. So that actually is bothersome. Is that a level one piece here? I can't check. Oh, there's two familiar assholes up ahead. Yeah, remember this guy? Like I said, back in uh, Kilika, he's a regular enemy now. Oh, Titus is poisoned. All right, we need go, Waka. Go, go. We need Waka first. I think. Oh fuck, he's immune to it. Blue, just set it on fire. Need a light. Yeah! Good. Let's just all get poisoned. Can I just get out of here? Summoner Yuna, ready. Ten is actually pretty gracious to you with Asuna, because normally you uh you kinda need to work to get that far. Um Like, usually it'll have like uh Something to cure poison, something to cure silence, you know, it'll have spells for it. Um, but Asuna just, uh, like, there, you'll have a spell for each specific thing, but this just, this just has, like, the all-in-one. Oh, yeah, let's delay your attack. Get out of here. We're gonna cure you up first, Titus. You are barely hanging on, buddy. Get up. Good. Let's just keep... I'll cure the poison on myself so I don't get poisoned at the end of this turn. Um, Ochus are not fun. Um, no, I don't want to provoke it. It doesn't have that much HP left, either. Let's just get everyone cured before we leave battle. I've got the low HP squad here. That's... Oh, yeah. Fire should do it. Thank you, Lou. Yeah, like Nox for silence, yep. Uh, let's see here. Is it harder now being later in the game, or is it same strength beginning? Uh, poison Steel. It dropped a Poison Sword for me, thank you. Damn. Um, the Ochu... I believe its HP went up? I'll double check that. Um, I just want to see what that damn thing dropped. Poison? Yeah, that is a poison touch. Damn, that... Thank you, Ochu. Um, let me check. Kilika, Forest, Ochu. Oh, Lord Ochu. It's a sub-boss. Yeah, the... <laughs> The Lord Ochu is a sort of sub-boss that it's completely skippable if you aren't strong enough to take it on. <laughs> um, it has over 4,000 HP, so it the one in um, Kilika was actually... No, and this has 6,000, so this one is strong. Uh, these are stronger, actually. They, they kind of adjusted to uh, fit the level. Like, to fit your level, because otherwise they would be kind of a joke, you know? 
But yeah, these guys should look familiar. Kamari punched one of them out. Oh. Lord. Um. Alright. Like, we're kind of barely hanging on here, but... Oh, come on, guys. Walk up, please. My turn! Get rid of him. That's fine. Um, I'm just gonna antidote myself, honestly. You now cure yourself. You have more HP. You need it. Can't lose my healer. You likely won't take it out. Yeah, that's fine. Um, actually. Delay attack. Just enough. Ta da! Yeah, and Walker can take a beating. I mean, anybody could have finished, that, finished off at that point, but. No time to waste. Let's go. All right, can I get to them now? Yes. Look! One of Kimari's friends looks just like him. What? Both follow summoners on all fours. Hornless goatlings. Hornless! Hornless! <laughs> You come to insult Kimari. Wrong. We come to warn little Kimari. Summoners disappear. Never return. Next will be Kimari's summoner. Poor Kimari. Lost his horn. Next lose his summoner. Pitiful Kimari. Howl alone, howl alone. <laughs> Do those two uh, got something against you? What? They were just picking on you? Kimari will deal with them. And I'll help. Kimari alone. But. Uh... It's Kimari's problem. We can't interfere. It's a rule. I'm worried. Let the Ronso deal with Ronso problems, yeah? That's how it's always been. I mean, I'm worried about those summoners disappearing. They aren't just disappearing into thin air. Hey, if we Guardians do our job, no problem, right? Oh. Confident. Yeah. Um, that livery of like, howl alone, howl alone. That's like a very short, that was like a very Schwarzenegger kind of uh, delivery. X potions were definitely hoarding. Oh, fantastic. Yep, thanks. Well, you don't have to worry about basilisks anymore. Um, I don't think they show up here, so I'll get everybody's equipment back in order. Go, go, go! After this, thank you, Waka. Okay. Allow me. I'm glad Chad agrees. Booyah. 
I'm good, yeah? You're good, yeah. Keep chugging along on our sphere grid here. Ooh, Yuna's going to learn something soon. Kira, yes, our second level Kira spell. And then the next one after that is Shell, which, yeah, that's important. That That's more of a magic buff. Buffer. Oh, we don't have any level 4 key spheres. Um, we are move. Yeah, we're moving forward with Titus. Come on, we're picking up where we left off. We're moving Orin into fuck frightening territory. All right. What? I'm keeping you healed. You better not be complaining about shit there, Titus. So who's next? This guy. Thank you, Orin. I've noticed just, a, like, just cumulatively over playing Final Fantasy X for, like, 18 years of my life, that, uh, the spell I've had Lulu use the most is, um... Is fire. I don't know why. What do I got? Oh, I have five level one P spheres now. That's what I have. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's right. We had Lulu move back a little bit because defense and health are very good for her. And yeah, we had Waka move a little back a little bit too. Take some detours to make them better. Level one key sphere times three. Thank you. Not again. Oh, I Think didn't. Of just training. I didn't get people's equipment back in order. You called. Oh my god. <laughs> <That was> <laughs> I think a little bit of Bender showed through there. John DiMaggio. That was uh. My turn. Just pray. Give a little pep in our step. That was pretty sinister there, Waka. There are things that like I hear and I'm used to hearing, and then there are things that I, I've only heard a couple of times like that, and it's always hilarious. Yellow shield, I think, means he doesn't take lightning. Ah, uh, equipment. Fucking Lulu and, uh... Yeah. Yeah, that's what I wanted. And then Yuna had the echo ring, because we don't want her to be silenced ever. I mean, ideally for Lulu as well, but we'll, we'll get her something. Say your prayers! Hmm... Lulu's our best bet against this, but Titus is an overdrive. Training, huh? No, I've been saving this one for you! Okay. Um, they can get different overdrives as well, uh, depending on the character. Um, I know how to get Orins, it's just some of them are difficult to get. Uh... Um... I'm trying to think a couple of the other ones, but I don't think there's anything I can do to get other overdrives at this point in time. I'm just gonna have Orin smack at it. At least power break it. So maybe the things won't hurt as much. Ah, oh, walk is close to an overdrive, so. Back on the field! I should check Lou's overdrive as well, see if she got, uh, well, I 
I was waiting for somebody to get poisoned. I like how as, as soon as Orin drops below 1,000 HP, he's immediately in danger. <laughs> it's like, nope, you're tank. Keep him. Oh. Bollocks. Yeah, now Lulu can't cast spells. Um. Alright. Uh, I have echo screens, thank god. Alright. Yuna. Use the Suna on Orin. He needs to be able to see to hit it. I think Lulu should be okay without darkness. Yeah, and it cures it all at once. As soon as spoils you. Um. No, we don't want him doing that. I'll just whack it. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't water the plant. Set it on fire. Yeah. She still got it. Don't you... Don't you use her assholes. Um... Yuna, please give him a cure. Let's just get everybody up to snuff while we're here. Oh! There's Belgamine! We meet again. I heard you took part in Operation Meehan. You've seen that Machina aren't the answer. In the end, only summoners can hope to defeat Sin. You are right. I must train harder. I can help with that, if you like. I propose a contest of Aeons. A friendly contest, of course. Let's go. I'm ready. That's the spirit. But before we begin... I have healed your Aeons. Well, shall we? She's kind of a side quest, but it's something I'm going to do because I very much enjoy her story. So, this is the one we just got. This is Ixion. Ixion. Call whichever Aeon you want. I've only got two other choices. Um, we'll bring out Old Faithful first. Because Ixion is not going to go down without a fight. And there's no water Aeon, like Leviathan, to uh, counteract him, so he can be tricky. So let's stutter him. Don't hold anything back. Show me what you've learned. Yeah, Veilfor doesn't have any white magic, unfortunately, so. Not yet. on special. Thank you for that. <clears throat> oh, I forgot it could haste itself. Yeah. No, how is it that it may use magic that Yuna's Ixion cannot? Yeah, it's true. Yuna's Ixion, uh, Ixion cannot use haste. Select abilities in the Aeon's menu to find a new list of abilities you can learn. For example, you can teach Veil for the ability Cure. It can heal as well as fight. You learn that now. It's, this is meant to teach you how to use your Aeons. Yeah, Veil for is going to go down. That's why I... Sadly, I chose her first. 
I'm sorry, sweetie. You are a very faithful girl. But I have Ifrit. <clears throat> These are much shorter uh, summon summoning and um, like ultimate attack animations as well because they're uh, notorious in Final Fantasy for being huge and extravagant and going on for a while. Um, they because summoning was such a big deal um, in uh, ten. They actually uh, yeah. You can see meteor strike gives them three strikes in a row. We don't want that. So we're just going to attack him. Oh wow, rip. Um, so they they did shorten them on purpose, but they made them still Stop. pretty grand. That is enough. Obviously, no AP earned enough. Your good, you bested me fairly. Here, your prize. Go on, take it. Two dragon scales, thank you. And summoner soul, which will let me customize my aeons now. I rarely do this. I really should do it more. I just never think about it. Because it tells you, like, you can use items like spheres or things that you pick up, like bob fragments and grenades. Items are going to become very important very soon. Like, even more so. So, yeah. You spend items... And the thing that it already knows are grayed out. Yeah, Electro Marble, we haven't seen anything be dropped yet. Oh, I'm going to need to pull up another guide in a minute. Actually. Now it's asking me for that. I thought I was just going to keep going. I look forward to meeting you again. Till next time, Yuna. Bye, Belgamine. Um, I'm actually gonna pull up something real quick here. Thankfully, it is a favorite on my Steam profile. Because it is invaluable. But you won't know what it is yet. Because telling would be spoiling. Mm -hmm. I'll put it right between Kimari and the Cloister of Trials. Alright. We're good. I'll go back to... I don't need it open actively, so it's good. Let me back here. There's the chest. Magic defense sphere. Actually, can I have uh <laughs> my poor veil for battles to go eight until you what? There we go. Um, Ifrit. Oh, he can't learn Fira yet. I want him to learn Fira. That's actually mainly what I'm concerned about. You can't learn Cure yet. You can learn a second level water spell. Actually, I'm a little confused as to how uh, how they don't like the the more I think about it, the more I'm like, why isn't Leviathan in here? Because you do have the water element, so why wouldn't you? And you'd have an electric Aeon, so why wouldn't you have a water element Aeon to counteract that? I don't know. I'll actually have to do some research on that and see if Levy was on there and then he just got scrapped. 
because that happens as well. Oh, and I need to check these overdrive. Yeah, again, I should be struggling, but I can one-hit most things besides an Ochu, which is fine with me. Sorry, I know, you know, spending time in the menu is just a great way for people to click off the flipping video, but I'm playing an RPG. Yes, set mode. Comrade, changes when allies take damage. Hack! I would prefer to get you get warrior. I think she can only do that with um <sighs> This is the first time I've actually been fucking around with these. I actually just usually use stoic. I don't know if that was an actual thing in the original game or not. In the PS2 version. If it was, it was just something I never paid attention to. This game can get pretty intricate. Um and I just- but you can still brute force your way through it. Um... Lulu, Overdrive, Mode, Warrior... Do you have to... Um, oh, you have to damage somebody over 300 times. Okay, I was thinking she had to use physical attacks. I'm glad it, that was not the case. Alright, we're good. It's like, if you're gonna make me have Lulu sick a doll on somebody over 300 times, gotta be annoyed. Ah, we're coming up on why I love the Moonflow, though. Because it's just fucking beautiful. Whoa! This is the Moonflow. These are moon lilies. They say that clouds of pyreflies gather here when night falls. The entire river glows like a sea of stars. Really? Hey, I got an idea! We're not waiting till nightfall. Ah. Uh. Hmm. Then, once we beat Sin, we're coming back. Hey, we better hurry or we'll miss the shoe puff. Shoe puff? That's some kind of boat? Hmm. Shoe puffs are awesome, is what they are. Um, this is also where we meet my second favorite race, me counting the Albed as a race because they technically were made a long, long time ago. Um... They're called Hypello, and I love them. And we're going to meet one. Whoa! What the? Whoa! Also, shoe puffs are cute. He's a shoe puff. <laughs> You're close, Katie. You're close on your Hypello uh, impersonation, but there needs to be a Z where the D is. This is a shoe puff. I love shoe puffs. Whoa! Let's ride! Come on, let's go! All right, we board soon as we ready, huh? Shoe puffs are so cute! Hi, Owaka. Thank you for the Phoenix dance. Owaka, at your service. Oh, I can't donate to him anymore. That sucks. 
Yeah, you're still ridiculously overcharging me for crap. Oh, that is nice, though. Oh, the switch hitter is actually cheap. Yeah. Yeah! Snakehead. Mithril ring. That's nice, but I like the silence ward. And I like the last one I bought from you. I mean, I could afford all these, but... The Serum Bracer might be worth it, but I'm gonna hold off. Shoe Puffs! I haven't ridden one in so long. What? You've been on one of these? Well, just once. Ten years ago, with Kamari. Remember? Shoe Puff shook. Yuna fall in water. Shoe Puff scoop up Yuna with long nose. Yuna jump in three more times for fun. Kimari worried. Whoops. <laughs> Yuna had fun. Kimari happy. They're so stinking adorable. And everyone forgets about this dynamic. Biran is troublemaker. But run, so do not lie. Summoners disappearing, that was not lie. Right, I'll be careful. Kamari's right, the Ronso don't lie. I lived in the city of Bevel until ten years ago. I moved to Besaid after my father defeated Sin. Kimari was with me the whole way. Bevel? It's the biggest city in Spira. The main temple of Yevon is there. Hi, pillow! I love them. Dangerous when shoe puffs close. Wants to be schmooshed? They actually talk like that. There's- oh, you'll hear one. I love them. They're adorable. Hey there, if you don't buy anything from me, you'll regret it. Uh, I'm sure. Yeah, no, I'm good. Thank you. Oh, you're charging double the price for everything. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. There have been reports of Albed sightings in this area. Stay alert and keep up your guard at all times. Need anything? Not for those prices. Ten years ago. Ah, a history lesson? Jack saw his first shoe puff here. Surprised, he drew his blade and struck it. Wh why He was drunk. Thought it was a fiend. Oh, brother. We offered all the money we had as an apology. Jekt never drank again. But it would seem that shoe puff still works here. Yep. Look at its, uh... Back leg that you can see. That is the scar from where Jack hit it. <laughs> Poor thing. Jack was a drunk, as we saw in flashbacks, um, but he did quit cold turkey. You say our machina violate the teachings, eh? Nonsense. Are you an old bed lady? I mean, she could be old. Or sir? Are you another ripoff shopkeeper? No. Riding the shoe puff is free because the temple pays for it. No, I don't think so. It's bad idea, yes. Please, we beg of you. Impossible! Impossible! What's wrong? This guy won't let our chocobo on the shoe puff. Ah, it is kind of big. It's just not fair. Uh, he does have a point, though. So what? We just leave him behind? Hey, I didn't say that, just... <sighs> it is no good. We will have to find another way. We will find a ford where we can cross on foot. Yes, Captain Sir. But that'll take days. Where there's a will, there's a way. Oh, boy. That's our captain. <laughs> yeah! 
Poor Glasgow. Where there's a will, there's a way. Those words stayed with me. I wonder how Captain Lucille is doing. You can see why I love high pillows. They're adorable. There's a long wait to ride the shoe puff since space is limited, but summoners get priority since they need to get on their way to Xanarkand. Also, I see our favorite boy, Macon. Would you like to hear a bit about the wondrous shoe puff? You could read a phone book to me. See, they encourage you not to listen to him, and I'm like, you're terrible. Very well. There are many things we do not know about the shoe puff. For example, what does it eat? It eats nothing. The water it sucks through its schnoz somehow supports its considerable size. Some theorize it eats teeny weeny waterborne organisms. Hmm. And that, as they say, is that. I love him. <clears throat> he could literally read a phone book and I would be entranced. I was going to return to Bavel after the tournament in Luca, but the Crusaders blocked the roads and I couldn't get through. Due to Operation Meehan. Welcome, you seem to have fine taste, sir. Listen, buy from me and you won't have any problems down the line. That sounds a little ominous. Yeah, I saw I'm lagging there. I was lagging there a little bit, guys. We're, I'm back up. Uh, uh, look at your freaking what you want for this. It, no, get out of here. Yeah, I love I love Macon's voice too. Ooh, five thousand gil. Don't mind if I do. Riding a shoe puff isn't that much fun. How little you know. Some things little boys never grow out of. Right. <laughs> oh, I love their brother relationship. It's so stinking cute. Let the driver know when you're ready. Nothing. Let the driver right. know. Thought you were gonna have something to say about the old bed in the area, but oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna get our uh, our player character. <laughs> we're good on that. Oh my god! And then the line I love to say when imitating a hapello. Rides the shoe puff. Rides the shoe puff. I love them. Swimmer. Shoe puffs waiting. Oh God. They're so fucking cute. Rides the shoe puff. You should see the look of delight on my face. All right. All aboard. I love high pillows and I love shoe puffs. The moon flow is full of things to love. Shoe puff launching. There's also a little bit of also I'm starting to speak like a high pillow. Um a bit of lore here that is like it's just a passing thing, but I really, really love it. Because it incorporates elements I really like. Hey. Huh? Take a look. What? Whoa! Sunken city. A Machina city, a thousand years old. They built the city on top of bridges across a river. But the weight of the city caused the bridges to collapse, and it all sank to the bottom. Right, it's a good lesson. A lesson? Yeah. Why build a city over a river, yeah? Uh, well, it would be convenient with all that water there. Nope, that's not why. They just wanted to prove they could defy the laws of nature. Hmm? I'm not so sure about that. Yevon has taught us. When humans have power, they seek to use it. If you don't stop them, they go too far, yeah? Yeah, but don't you use Machina too? Like the stadium and stuff, right? Yevon. It decides which Machina we may use and which we may not. So what kind of Machina may we not use, then? 
Remember Operation Meehan? That kind. Or war will rage again. War? More than a thousand years ago, mankind waged war using Machina to kill. They kept building more and more powerful Machina. They made weapons so powerful, it was thought they could destroy the entire world. The people feared that Spira would be destroyed. But the war did not stop. Wh what happened then? Sin came, and it destroyed the cities and their Machina. The war ended, and our reward was Sin. So, Sin's our punishment for letting things get out of hand, eh? Man, that's rough. Yeah, it is. But it's not like the Machina are bad. Only as bad as their users. It's because of people like the Albed screwing everything up. Ugh. What could that be? Sit down. Sorry! Ah! The Albed! So that bubble keeps her breathing. Um, but uh, yeah, the, the Sunken City is like my favorite just little dropped bit of lore that doesn't really have any impact on anything. But I tend to love ancient ruins in video games, especially abandoned cities, especially if they're, you know, somewhere usually inaccessible, like buried under the earth. Um, all right, we're gonna haste ourselves and then we're gonna haste Waka. Thankfully, you can avoid hitting Yuna, because that would be a really shitty thing to do. Hopefully, lightning works and doesn't cure it. Alright, that was a good hit. I'm actually surprised I've been doing okay with the element reels. I'm usually terrible at them. All right, now we've got at least two attacks. Oh, a dark attack is not going to work. Um, neither will sleep or silence because it's a machine. So we just kind of got a whale on it. Doesn't have that much HP. I wonder if delay attack does work though. Okay. Make sure Titus is healed up. Yeah, that's readying depth charges. Potion yourself, buddy. Okay, high potions. Noted. We're gonna need more high potions. Okay, well, no, he can potion one more time, but... Okay, good. You can stop the depth charges if you're fast enough. The extractor comes back down, thankfully. That's why we cast a haste. I, I still love watching hasted characters, it's so funny. Watching Waka and Titus kick furiously in uh, place.
Ooh, another Mega Phoenix. And a lot of gill. Are you hurt? Uh, no, I'm fine. Oh. Oh. Those out bed. Ish, everybody okay? I I'm sorry. We're all okay now. Yuna. Uh. Super full speed ahead. Damn the outbed! What do they want from us? Could it have something to do with Luca? What are they after Yuna for? Wait, they're mad they lost the tournament. Oh wait, they're mad about Operation Meehan. I wonder. Didn't Kamari's clansmen say something about summoners disappearing? Ah, so the outbed are behind that. Those sand plastic grease monkeys. All right, Waka, calm down. Yeah, you know it's half hell bed, guys. Hey, Waka. It's no use complaining about the owl bed now, right? We'll protect Yuna from anyone, anywhere. It's that easy. That's all I need to know. Well, I guess so. Thank you, Titus. You're right. Of course, Oren knows she's half Albed too because he knew Braska's wife. He knew Yuna when she was little. He knew uh, he knew Yuna's mom. He was uh, Oren and Braska were very close. Braska was a priest of Yevon before he became a summoner. Um, he was excommunicated because he married an Albed. People have theorized that he was a missionary and he was sent. Uh, it's either theorized or it's canon and explained later. I don't remember which. That uh, he was a missionary. Excuse me. Um, stomach. And uh, he went to try to convert some Albed and ended up falling in love with one of them instead. So that's Lady Yuna. Hmm, no wonder. Kimari fail as guardian on Shubov. Kimari never fail again. Oh, it's okay, Kimari. Kimari fail as. Oh, sorry. But yeah, we're we're kind of getting into a little bit of a, a character arc where Waka's um Waka's racist tendencies are gonna show themselves. <laughs> I know. I know a few people in chat love Waka, so it's just uncomfortable, but it's gonna happen. Oh, hey, Yuna's gonna learn Kira. Yes. But like I said, every character has uh, development. I'm also waiting for Katie to call out when she actually started liking Titus. Also, why didn't I use that before? Whatever. But yeah, you guys are gonna be... I mean, I like Waka, but can I slap him around a bit? He's a Yevonite in parachute pants! I want to or, uh, this, around this time of the game every time. And I love Waka. Like, when I, I, when I was younger, he was my favorite character. And Waka is a very nice, relatable guy. He really is. It's, he's got his flaws like everybody. And I'm just going to refrain from saying anything else because then I'm getting to spoiler territory and Katie knows exactly what I uh, would be going into, actually. Well, once I <clears throat> told her a bit more about it, but yeah. Might be more out bed. Yeah. You keep watch, yeah? Here he goes. He's not going to shut up about it for a while. Looks like we're stuck here for a while. How about seeing Lord Brasco and Guado Salam? Lord Brasco must be bursting with pride up on the far planet having such a fine daughter. I heard the Albed attacked you. Are you okay? I hope to celebrate Lady Yuna's calm while I'm alive. Alright, so... Brasco's gone. Like, he's dead. Um... So... 
Because the far plane is the afterlife, I'll tell you that. I'll tell you guys that right now. That's no surprise. And you've probably already guessed that Brosk is dead. So, and we know that Sin is jacked. So, um, yeah, Braska died, uh, somewhere along the line. We don't know where. And Yuna is supposed to see him in Guadalajara. Seems you destroyed the Albed's Machina. That's some dedication. You'll receive a blessing from Yevon. It'll be necessary to strengthen security so that the Albed won't get their way anymore. Awaka's over here, too. But I was lucky not to run any, any wily merchants on this side of the shore, but I ended up buying something from that man over there. Awaka, at your service. So yes, Katie, permission granted. You can smack Waka up around a bit. Oh, you can't buy high potions yet. That's why. Uh, echo screen. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, well. Shoopuff sleeping. Wait till Shoopuff wake up? Sin took my daughter, but I saw her again for the first time in five years. That Guadalajara place was amazing. Guard Yuna. Instead, we're supposed to directly disobey Orin. So as you've, as you've noticed, the Guado are very aquatic in nature. As are the Hypello, but, um, yeah, the Guado aren't exactly human. So there are a bunch of different races on Spira, which I like a lot. Guado Salam is up ahead, but the path is infested with fiends. Make all necessary preparations before departing. Since that Lady Yuna was here, I can feel the warmth of the people. The descendant of a high summoner and loved by everyone, Yuna embodies perfection. Should I stay a crusader or follow a different path? I wanted to discuss this with someone on the far plane, but maybe I shouldn't. And a chest. So we're supposed to disobey Orin. And that's a familiar figure. You're not dead? Uh, uh? And of course they make a CG out of this. Uh? Uh. Huh? Uh? Ah. Thought I was done for back then. Ah! Riku! You're Riku! My girl! Uh, hey! Uh, you're okay! How you been? Terrible. Yeah, you don't look so good. What happened? You beat me up, remember? Huh? Oh! That Machina? That was you? Mm-hmm. Oh, that really hurt, you know. You big meanie. <sighs> w wait, but you attacked us. Nuh-uh, it's not exactly what you think. Yo! Friend of yours. Uh, and you could say that. Pleased to meet ya. I'm Riku. Yuna, Lulu, I told you about her, remember? She was the one who helped me before I was washed up on Besaid. She's an Albed. <sighs> wow, so you like all your life. What luck meeting here, huh? Praise be to Yevon. So, uh, Riku, you look a little beat up. You okay? Uh, Waka. Huh? What? There's something we need to discuss. Oh, go ahead. Girls only. Boys, please wait over there. Right. Sorry, Waka. Huh? What? Ah. So Riku's our youngest party member. She's 16. 
but she's only a year younger than Yuna and Titus, I believe. Sir Oren, I would like Riku to be my guardian. Show me your face. Pay attention. Huh? Look at me. Oh, okay. This Open your eyes. The last trait. As I thought. Um, no good? Are you certain? A hundred percent. So, anyway... Can I? If Yuna wishes it. Yes, I do. <laughs> Riku's a good girl. She helped me a bunch. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm for it. The more the merrier. Right-o. Then I'll just have to be the merriest. It was strange. Even though Waka had always hated the Albed. Riku, at your service. He never realized Riku was one of them. I just got an achievement altogether, so I've got my whole party now. Um, I'm going to get a bit of a tutorial on what Riku can do, so you're going to know what she can do. Um, so the last trait in the Albed is they have spirals for eyes. They have blonde hair, green eyes, and they literally have spiraled pupils. They have a spiral that goes out from their pupil. And that's why Orin demanded to see her eyes. Um, Titus doesn't know that, but uh, most everyone else does. Um, it's important to use Riku a lot. A lot of people don't like... Like, they, they do like her. She's very popular, but they don't like using her character. Um, Ooh, a treasure chest! And it's important to use her character. Incredibly important. I wonder what's inside. Like, you can actually screw yourself if you don't use her. That happened with one of my uh, friends. She never used Riku, and then she got stuck at a certain point in the game because of it. So, she can steal from treasure chests. Um, so, pretty much, if there's a treasure chest from it, or if there's a treasure chest on the battlefield, have Riku steal it. Any unopened chest after the yeah! battle's over. Some people don't like her because um, they think she's annoying and they can screw off. You should know. I'm scary when I get mad. So I opened I up that item I just got on you. You'll be sorry. I opened up her overdrive uh, list because now she's our resident thief. She can steal anything and everything from fiends, and her overdrive is mixing them together. So uh, she can create some really fucking powerful attacks. She can make if you use Riku properly and you build her properly, she's one of the most broken characters in the game. Um Yeah, it did take Katie a while to like Riku. Um she's very much in the same vein as Yuffie from 7. They're very similar. And it took you a while to like Yuffie too, if I remember that correctly. But uh if you use Riku correctly, she is one of the most broken characters in the entire game. And when I say you can combine anything, I literally mean anything. Potions, Phoenix Sounds, high potions, spheres that you use on the sphere grid. You have it, Riku can mix it. The dragon scales we got earlier, but we were told to mix the two bomb cores. So yeah, uh there's a steam mix guide. Um, and that's a basic one. What did you just do? That was great! I can combine items and use them like this. It's not that tough, really. See, super peppy characters, it depends for me, because, uh, Katie said in chat, I'm not usually a fan of super peppy characters, which is totally understandable. They can be incredibly annoying. Um, Riku and Yuffie... As you and I both know, Katie, both have... Oh! And she got equipment out of it. Uh, Riku uses Targes and Knuckles. Um, she and Orin are my two favorites, and I will be using Riku a lot. Um, no, your equipment. Uh... Yeah. 
Mm. Her armor is the targe. Um, but yeah, Riku and Yuffie are both characters that have very heavy burdens placed on them. Um, and Riku is actually, in, she's considered an adult by Albed standards. Um, and she is just fucking incredible. I could literally gush forever about her, but you'll see more of what I mean as time goes on. So rather than, just, than me just saying it. I will say she's more than just, like, pep for pep's sake, like a lot of uh, characters are, and I I believe, Katie can correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm literally going to be speaking for her here. You gotten any better? Just watch! Um, that, uh, that was a Kingdom Hearts noise. Um, that, like, once she learned, uh, like, why Riku was the way she was, um, I think Katie warmed up to her a lot more. I want to... I wish you could rearrange Yuna's, um, white magic spells on the menu. Steal from everything. But yeah, there are a lot of characters that are uh, peppy for being peppy's sake. Um, and remember, part of my mod is having uh, everyone earn AP. You usually don't in Final Fantasy X. So that's why, even in the remaster, and that's why I'm saying if you do plan on playing this, um, you need to start leveling Riku immediately. Like, on this stretch, it's a good, uh, it's a good uh, idea to run back and forth and get some levels for her and to cons consistently have her in your party, like have her take As a As you wish. Farewell. She becomes an That's how it's character. done. But yeah, there's a lot that are peppy just for pep's sake, and I mean, they can get really obnoxious, but um, I like really peppy characters that kind of have a deeper meaning behind them. Like, uh, reference for Trisha, who's only played 13, and I'm so sorry. Um, like, my girl's... Uh, or one of my girls, uh, Vanille, who felt like she stepped out of an actual Final Fantasy game. Uh, Vanille and Fang felt like they actually stepped out of a Final Fantasy game and the rest of them didn't. Um, Vanille was very peppy, but she had a lot of sorrow behind her, and no surprise, Vanille ended up being my favorite. Riku and uh, Yuffie and Seven are very similar. And you'll see that when I eventually play Seven. Because I will. Yeah, because, yeah, she sure goes, I loved both of those so much! Yeah, that's because they were actually Final Fantasy characters. They they have the depth of Final Fantasy characters. We have been expecting you, Lady Yuna. Welcome to Guado Salam. This way, my lady. This way. Uh, uh, me? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, I beg your pardon. I am called Trommel Guado. I am in the direct service of our leader, the great Seymour Guado. Lord Seymour has very important business with Lady Yuna. Business with me? Whatever could it be, I wonder? Please, come inside the manor. All will be explained. Of course, your friends are also welcome. Twist our arms, why don't you? Ah, I almost forgot. This is why Riku is also fucking awesome. You can customize your shit. See all those blank spaces? We're gonna fill them. She synthesizes them. So, uh, you need a blank space. Yeah, the enchanted rod doesn't have a blank space. And it displays what you can add to it. 
depending on what items you have. So I'm not going to be able to pimp everybody out immediately. But. I didn't, I liked. What would you do without me? Uh, die horribly. Um. Uh, I, there's, Katie loves snow and Trisha is showing appreciation for him as well. I liked him to a point, but he started getting too comedic relief. Shilind is here, like she said, and so is Macon, so we're gonna talk to them after we save. Um. Recording for over an hour, so I can now make, I can now erase my panic save. Um. The snow just got to be too much of comedic relief, and I was in chapter 13, and I was just getting really sick of everything. But, due to a bet I made with my friend Kevin, or more like a challenge Kevin issued me, which was how long does it take to play, would it take you to play each individual Final Fantasy, not counting the MMOs, so 11 and 14. I have to play 13, 13, 2, and 13, 3. He issued it, and I have to take the challenge. I... I fucking did it to myself, and I, I hate myself, for at least for those three. Thank you so much for destroying that Albed contraption. Those heathens are despicable. I feel so relieved now. Yeah, the Albed, again, fly in the face of literally everything Yevon, so Riku joining as a guardian for a summoner is a really big deal. Oh, how fair you, Sir Guardian. It seems that Maester Seymour has returned to Guado Salam. He's young, but he deserves our respect. Sure. Can we all agree, though, in chat that Hope is a little bitch? Care to hear about the far plane or the pyre flies? Both, please. Ahem. The far plane's the place where pyre flies, born from ascending, gather. They appear in the shape of people who've died and gone to the far plane. Quite the phenomenon, how I wish I understood it more fully. The owl bed have a theory, you know. They say the pyreflies are just reacting to visitors' thoughts and dreams. But only the dead appear on the far plane. No image of the living has ever been seen. It's a great mystery, but maybe, maybe the dead leave a bit of themselves in the heart of the living. And that little bit borrows the Pyrefly's power for their paranormal performance. Or maybe not, who knows. And that, as they say, is that. Care to hear about the far plane or the Pyreflies? Okay, well, what are those Pyrefly things? Ahem. They may be called Pyreflies, but they aren't really flies, you see. There, those lights you see whenever a fiend dies. The little fellows are responsible for a few fantastic phenomena. Visions of the past, spheres, fiends, these are all the pyreflies doing. In fact, pyreflies have something to do with aeons too. The dreams of the faith reach through the spirit of the summoner. And that which is unreal becomes real for all to see. Or maybe not. Who knows? And that, as they say, is that. Remember all those lights whenever Yuna performed Ascending? The lights we saw above the dead on the beach after Operation Meehan? The lights that leave a fiend whenever they die? They're pyreflies. The little haunting song that they sing. They're, uh... They're really cool. They're very beautiful. But again, if people aren't sent, they turn into fiends because their pyreflies are not sent. We Guado help the warrior monks patrol the roads beyond. Why wouldn't we do all we can for the good of Spira? So the Guado are actually a, a really interesting people. We can't go down there yet. And I think we're okay. We won't be suckered into a cutscene yet. Guado Salam is laid out a little weird. It's kind of like a tree, a water tree city. Lord Seymour instructs the Guado youth on numerous subjects. Thanks to him, I learned about Yevon's teachings and the history of Spira. 
The elders just won't give up the old tongue. I keep telling them how unseemly it is babbling like that to guests. Good traveler, prithee forgive us our antiquated prattling. Thou seemst weary, good traveler. Wouldst thou sit and rest thy feet a while? Ah, uh, belike my speech perplexes thee? Tis old Guado I speak, a tongue seldom heard within Guadalcalam now. They speak Shakespearean! How- How is that bad? That's awesome! Get out of here. There's the inn. I believe. Unless we were in the inn downstairs. No, this is the item shop. Uh, what you got? See how Brotherhood is super customizable, too? Oh no, actually my, I was looking at my Rod of Wisdom and I was like, oh, that's good. No, what I have is better. Hmm, yeah, see, they're, they're setting me up for, uh... Ooh, yeah, that, I already need that for Riku. She needs a little bit of something. Um, yeah, we're gonna need these. I already got a yellow shield. Okay, Kamaru's already got that on his red. Yes, no, yes, no. You all are expensive, but yeah, see how they're already getting me ready for, um, a synth thing? Sorry, guy's gonna do some inventory management. I mean, the best I can do is also synth this, and um, sell it later, because the more shit that's tacked onto it, the more money you'll get from it. Okay, I can sell the Seeker's Ring. We've got a couple of... the Thunder Moomba because it's a Moomba and it can be... We don't give up our Magical Mog. We give up our Power Ball. Hmm. <laughs> wow. That sells for quite a bit and I'm never gonna need Lulu to attack something. Because it has the magic plus 20 on it. Hmm. <sighs> I don't. I'm not really gonna have you. I'm not really gonna have you attack something. I mean, you can have her bonk something, and that's fine. But yeah, and then all the lightning stuff I got. All right. What a waka. Ah. Chat. I tell you, these Guado merchants are shrewd. Ripping off the pilgrims that come to visit the fire plane. Yeah, the prices were steep. Listen, you watch that they don't get you too. Me, you can trust. More than a Guado, at least. What do you say? Belladonna wand is Awaka. <laughs> Some of your shit costs just as much. I didn't give him enough money. He would have uh, lowered his prices by now, but I mean, when you're early on in the game, it's kind of difficult. I would have had to level grind and I just wasn't gonna bother with that. Well, I did, but you know what I mean. You find it difficult telling us Guado apart, don't you? I suppose you think we all look the same. Not really, you're very unique. As sole protectors of the far plane, the Guado are the supreme race of Spira. All right. 
They're fundamentally different from the populous humans and the hulking Ronso, but that's an old story. Now the Guado seek harmony with other races. I'm sure. I'd love to step away from the Guado glories and play a for a different team once in a while. But if they paid me enough, I'd even play for the Albed. Speaking of, there's an Albed primer. Get some loot. Say so you play for the Besaid Orox. You're Titus, right? I saw you at the tournament. Let's split sometime. Those fiends really made a mess. Some of my teammates are badly hurt. Alright, let's go see what fucking Seymour wants. Well, let's go save again. Actually. Nope. File 1 is our main file. Alright, so we got some lore. Now let's continue with the plot. These are the past leaders of the Guado. They all look the same. Mr. Seymour doesn't look like them, no. Don't you know? The last leader. Maester Jiskel wed a human woman. She was Seymour's mother. Hmm. Oh. That's why Seymour doesn't look like other Guado. The last leader. Maester Jiskel. And that is actually very important to know. Trauma will be back shortly. Please be patient. These are Lord Seymour's private chambers. You may not enter. I don't like the smell of this one, eh? <laughs> By the way, this is Seymour's theme. It's just so welcoming. Oh, I'm my frame rate is uh, dropping a bit. All right, it's evening out again. Yeah, all right, it's evening out. Kimari? Kimari not like Mr. Seymour. <gasps> it's my two favorites together. Stay close to Yuna. Can do. I wonder what smells so nice. So, literally, something smells. Why does he want to see me? I don't know, he's been creeping on you quite a bit. This way, please. Go inform Lord Seymour. Please wait here. I get the feeling he called us up here for more than just dinner. Or to be dinner. There's no temple here in Guadalajara, see? Summoners usually just pass through on their way elsewhere. <laughs> what? I didn't even ask a question, and you're explaining things. You'd rather I say nothing, then? No, no. Maybe you finally believe I don't know anything about Spira. And maybe that means you believe me about Xanarkin, too? Well, there are many things I do not know. Your Xanarkin is one of those things. I suppose I can't say what I think, either way. Still, be careful. You shouldn't tell other people. Yeah, I know. Why don't you eat something? Yum yum. What's up? Mmm, this is good. <laughs> She's just stuffing her face. Stay on your guard. Why? This guy is just a priest, right? Those with power use that power. Maesters have power. Wait. 
You sure you don't have something against Yevon? <laughs> I lived a long time in Xanarkand. Ah. What is taking them so long? Kimari speak no more. Yuna told him to be quiet. What could it be? Oh. <laughs> Truly, it is good to have guests again. Since Lord Jiskel passed away, these halls have been too quiet. The death of Lord Jiskel was a great loss for all of Spira. Was this Maester Jiskel really such a great guy? He brought the teachings of Yevon to the Guado. He was truly a great man. Truly a loss for us all. But now, a new leader, Lord Seymour, has come before us. Lord Seymour is the child of a guado and a human. He will be the tie that binds our two races together. But that is not all, I think. Lord Seymour, he will surely become the shining star that lights the way for all the peoples of Spira. That is enough, Trommel. Must I always endure such praise? Welcome! You wanted to see me? Please, make yourselves at home. There's no rush. Please keep this short. Yuna must rush. Pardon me. It has been a long time since I had guests. Lady Yuna, this way. This sphere is a reconstruction created from the thoughts of the dead that wander the far. Xanarkand? Correct. Xanarkand, as it looked 1,000 years ago. The great and wondrous Machina city, Xanarkin. She once lived in this metropolis. <laughs> she who? The volume does drop during the CGs, I don't know why. Lady Unaleska! She was the first person to defeat Sin and save the world from its ravages. And you have inherited her name. It was my father who named me. Lord Braska was entrusting you with a great task. He wanted you to face Sin as Lady Unaleska did. However, Lady Unaleska did not save the world alone to defeat the undefeatable sin. It took an unbreakable bond of love of the kind that binds two hearts for eternity.
so, chat, what do you think he said? Nailed it. You serious? Uh, hey! You know what Yuna must do. Of course. Lady Yuna, no, all summoners, are charged with bringing peace to Spira. But this means more than just defeating sin. She must ease the suffering of all Spira. She must be a leader for the people. I proposed to Lady Yuna as a maester of Yevon. Spira is no playhouse. A moment's diversion may amuse an audience, but it changes nothing. Even so, the actors must play their parts. There's no need to answer right away. Please, think it over. <sighs> we will do so then. We leave. Lady Yuna. I await your favorable reply. Why are you still here, sir? I beg your pardon. We Guado are keen to the scent of the far plane. One of my favorite Titus moments. <laughs> Orin, you're my father figure. I'm just gonna sniff you. Alright, so we're getting the fuck out of here. Because, uh, chat's creeped. Yuna, the High Summoner's daughter. Seymour, the leader of the Guado. Married in the name of Yevon. Overcoming the barriers of race. It would give Spira something cheery to talk about for a change. Sounds just like a passing daydream, like Oren says. Come on, let's just get on with the pilgrimage. I mean, marriage? Hmm, jealous? What? No way. We gotta defeat sin. Romance can wait. You sure picked a fine time to lay this one on us. Maybe it is a fine time. You serious? If my getting married would help Spira, if it would make people happy, if I could do that for people, maybe I should do what I can. I never imagined doing anything like this, but I won't answer till I know what's right. Seriously? You could always just quit your pilgrimage and get married. <laughs> I will. Go on. I'm sure that Lord Seymour will understand. Um, I guess so. I am a summoner. I must fight and defeat sin. Like Braska before you. <sighs> I had to stop myself from shouting. What's there to think about? I'm going to the far plane. I'm going to see my father and think on this. Go on. We'll be right behind you. Mm. I wondered why none of the others ever asked Yuna. Do you love Seymour? Do you even like him? Sorry, I snickered because Mod goes, Hey, Orin, you smell good. Stop, Titus, that's gay. It, Seymour's a creepster. And just remember what you said there, Trisha. And I'm saying it out loud for uh, record now. Um, if he didn't have that hair, he'd be hella hot, and the author, uh, the author, the offer may have been more appealing. Now it's on record. What, you staring at the wall is called endurance training? Get out of here, dude. Remember the far plane is sacrosanct. Proper conduct, please. 
I do really love the scene with um, them seeing Xanarkin, though, and Titus just immediately identifying it. He's seeing his home, and all of his friends get to see the kind of place he's used to suddenly. Like, they, they start to understand why Spira is so foreign to him. Question about this far plane. When somebody dies, a summoner sends them to the far plane, right? So their souls, or whatever they are, uh, they go to the far plane, right? But that's the far plane we're going to, right? And Yuna's old man's there too? Do dead people live there or something? Hmm. <laughs> you thinking those funny thoughts again, yeah? <laughs> <sighs> You'll see once we get there. So yeah, there are the fireflies, and you can hear their haunting song that you know to listen for it. Aren't you coming? I do not belong there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're scared. Searching the past to find the future. This is all that is there. I need it not. You'd better be going. You're not really going to see the dead. More like your memories of them. People think of their relatives, and the pyreflies react to them. They take on the form of the dead person. An illusion, nothing else. Hmm. Well, have fun. What? You're not going either, Riku? I keep my memories inside. Huh? Memories are nice, but that's all they are. That's actually one of her more uh, famous quotes. You're still here. So, Orin wants us to get the fuck out. See you later. I mean, I would guess he wouldn't want to see Prosca. Because they were really close. The far plane was cool, but I couldn't stop thinking about Yuna. Her parents, they look so happy together. But it got me worried that maybe seeing them would make Yuna really consider Seymour's proposal. No, I just wanted to talk to you. I actually didn't want to leave. Why don't you try calling someone? All you have to do is think about them. So Waka's obviously talking to Chapu. Yo, Chapu! Meant to come see you earlier, yeah? Sorry. I know you won't hold it against me. Eh, I gave up the game. I'm a guardian from here on, you know? This guy looks a lot like you. Showed up. Traveling with him, I thought maybe... You were still alive somewhere, yeah? But then again, here you are on a far plane. Guess your place is here. So, how you been? Oh, that guy I just told you about. I gave him your sword. He likes it. Huh? Wow. 
it does have to be really surreal, like looking at Chapu, and he, they actually took care to make him make his face look a little bit like Titus, um, so you can kind of see why Waka kind of got that idea at first. Um, it has to be surreal looking at this image of a guy who looks similar to you and holding the sword that was given to him and really realizing it. Just a sec more. So, that is Chapu, and that's who Lulu was with. So, uh, Yuna? I've decided. Uh, oh, really? Uh, that's good. I remember when I was only seven years old in Bevel that day. Yeah, they're 17. My father had defeated Sin, and the whole town was out in the streets. Everyone was laughing. They all seemed so happy. If I defeated Sin, that would make everyone happy, wouldn't it? Uh, uh. I must do what everyone wants, not just what I want. Let's go back. You gotta tell Seymour. Before that, call Sir Jet. Give it a try. Huh? Don't worry. He won't come. Trying not to think about my old man made me think about him, of course. See, told you. He isn't here because he's not dead. He's sin. <laughs> that means he's alive, you know. What if my old man really is sin? What would I say to Yuna? Heck, uh, to everybody in Spira. Wait, why should I have to apologize for him anyway? I'd rather never see him again. What? makes you hate him so everything he does just makes me mad it was his fault that me and my mother uh, uh, mom it's her she's very pretty uh, uh, but wait no one ever performed the sending for her she must have accepted death while she was still alive. Whoa there. Uh, that's my mother you're talking about. Oh, I I'm sorry. Hmm. It's okay. Ah. Uh, I think I just... figured something out. What? Why I hate my old man. And this is the cutscene why I say Titus's mom fucking sucks. See, See, so, so I, told I told him what I thought of him right, right there. What? Really? Of course. <laughs> I suppose, but... Mommy! Just a sec, dear. Whenever my old man was around, my mother wouldn't even look at me. Maybe that's when I started to resent him, even hate him. When he left us, Mom just lost her energy. Is she, she all right? right? Why should you care? If she, she dies, dies, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know, know what, what to do. do. Don't, Don't say, say Mom, Mom is gonna die. die. I, apologize. I apologize. The old lady next door told me, when a lovebird dies, the one left behind, it just gives up living so it can join its mate. It was just like that. I hated my old man even more. But really, my old man... Mommy! Just, just a sec, sec, dear. Ah, uh, go to him. He'll cry if you don't. Oh, man. Hmm? I must sound so stupid. I don't think so. How embarrassing. Well, need some more time. No, I'm ready. Did I miss something? <laughs> oh, so before more intrigue happens, because more intrigue is about to happen, that's why I say Titus's mom sucks. Because... She was a groupie. She was there for Jekt. 
And whenever Titus was like, hey, mom, hey, mom, hey, mom, you know, like a kid does, she just hung off of Jack's arm and Jack was the one that was like, go to our kid. This guy who was an alcoholic, super sports star, essentially married a groupie, had a kid with said groupie because he did care about her. He didn't cheat on her or anything like that. They did care about each other, but I mean, neither of them were really fit to be parents because she hung off of Jack's arm all the time. And I don't know if my stream is dying or not. Okay, it went back up. But yeah, that uh, that scene, like the first time I saw that, like, and I was actually like older enough to process it, my mind was kind of blown. I was like, I was like, but wait, Jack is the one that that said go see him. Like, and like I said, Jack is not without his faults. He was not the best father in the whole world, but. He cares about Titus. And I feel bad that his mom fell into such a, uh, such a spiral of depression. Um, because she obviously cared about Jack. They just, they weren't meant to have a kid. And <sighs> it steams me really bad that um, people, like, fans today still place a lot of blame on him. Um, and say that he's a piece of shit. And I'm like, uh, you're forgetting about the mom and that whole scene and that whole revelation that Titus has where, you know, Jack was the one to say, go see our son. He's going to cry if you don't. Like, yeah, Jack calls him a crybaby. That's his way. In a, in a, I, I, it's, it's in a compilation I have to pull up, but Jack calls him a crybaby, um, to encourage him to grow stronger and to stop crying because Jack is backwards ass thinking he has the kind of t tough love mentality and maybe that's why I go a little bit softer on him personally because I also had a tough love kind of father not in the same way but like my dad was very much you know this is the way things are this is how they're going to be if you don't like it you need to accept it because life isn't fair it wasn't so much the you know like the kind of backwards ass thinking that Jack has sometimes but it it's still a version of tough love my dad was kind of a tough love dude even though his heart was really huge so you know it's just that you know people see Jack and they're like oh what an asshole what a bully me, me, me. like no wonder Titus just has so many problems it's like yeah of course he has problems but his mom isn't free of the blame she's part of the problem too and Titus never blamed her. Like, he just realized it now. And that's such an important scene that's super overlooked because people are just rushing to interpret the relationship between Jack and Titus that they're forgetting that Titus's mom exists. So it's just really the story of two people who weren't really meant to be parents having a kid. But, um, yeah, we're gonna keep going, because intrigue happens now. Thanks for waiting. I'll go give my answer to Maester Seymour. <gasps> Lord Jiskel! Oh, Lord Jiskel! Uh, he does not belong here. Why? Yuna, send him. <laughs> Lord Jiskel. He is Lord Jiskel no more. Send him now. <laughs> Talk later. We leave now. What was that just now? That really Lord Disco? I don't understand how a man like Lord Jiskel can die and not be sent. I would think that he was sent once, but he stayed on Spira. Something 
A powerful emotion could have bound him to this world. Such things happen. That's against the rules, isn't it? It means he died an unclean death. So, Jiskel tried to pretty much bolt from the far plane. That's pretty unsettling. I will go meet with Maester Seymour. Yuna! Jisco is the Guado's problem, not yours. Um... What? So, Lulu, what do you think about Yuna getting married? As long as the pilgrimage continues, either way's fine. That's it? What if she doesn't even like the guy? Is that okay? People marry for many reasons. What's that mean? Sometimes marriage doesn't require love, you know? Defeat sin and bring joy to the people of Spira. Get married and bring joy to the people of Spira. For Yuna, they're just two ways down the same road. All you need is determination. If you have that, you don't need love. I don't know. Mm, I just don't get it. I mean, Lulu and Titus are both right in a sense. Uh, where's the... I think I can go talk to the rest of the party. Yeah. We leave as soon as Yuna returns. I trust you'll be ready. Where are my peeps? Is it only those two? I thought it was more. I thought I could talk to everybody. I, I know you talked to Lulu about it more. Um, but I thought you could talk to Riku and Waka at least too. Oh, loot. Thank you. I always forget that that's back there. Are you guys just hanging around in shops? No? Alright, go talk to Lulu. Oh, Waka. Alright, so they're hanging around. For a while there, I was a little worried about what was gonna happen, yeah? Huh? I thought Riku was like hanging off a ledge somewhere. I swear to God, she's sitting somewhere. Bacon's still here. Shalinda's moved on. Where's my girl? There she is. When we leave here, we have to go through the Thunder Plains next, you know? Oh. I can't stand thunder. <laughs> Sorry, Mod sent me a message. I can't stand thunder. All right. Listen, if Yuna gets married, then I... What? That again? Yes. If she is to marry, I would want her to marry for love. See? But if Yuna said she wanted to marry the one she loves, I would have to object. Huh? Uh, you're not making much sense. I know. Titus. Boy. Lulu? I've talked enough about that. What? I'm sorry, just forget about it. Jeez, grumpy. You'll understand one of these days. I just don't want to give it words, not yet. I shouldn't have to say this, but don't fall in love with her. <laughs> You're more my type, Lulu. No, too late. I see. But you must keep your feelings inside until the pilgrimage is over. Mm. 
I'm a little worried about Lord Jiskal. I wonder if Maester Seymour has heard. We leave as soon as you... All right. Let me go. My, was the Lady Summoner not with you? No, she's at Seymour's place. That's Maester Seymour, or Lord Seymour. Oh, I'll be careful. Sorry. That's all right. Oh, Maester Seymour left Guado Salam a short while ago. You serious? I believe he went to the temple in Makalania. Maester Seymour is also the high priest of that temple. Whoa, I gotta tell the others. Then what the hell is Yuna doing inside? Lord Jiskil, please tell me. What can I do to help? Yuna, let's go! They say Seymour went to Makarena Temple. Makalania Temple. I? What I don't get is. <laughs> I'm sorry, I laugh at that joke every fucking time. It's so out of left field. <laughs> ha! Titus, you broke the mood completely. Holy shit. <laughs> Why would the Lord Maester head off without a peep to anyone? Maybe he wasn't expecting Yuna's answer so soon. Ah, that's probably it. <laughs> Yuna, what is it? Oh, nothing. Hmm. You're a poor liar. It's true, it's nothing. Come on, let's go. Oh, holy shit. I actually forgot about that. That's one of my favorite little bits. Oh boy. Alright, we're gonna save before we hit the Thunder Plains, because uh, we're also kind of at a decision point. Um, so. I'm just gonna make two saves here. Um. All right, so I've essentially streamed two episodes worth, and that was that would usually be where I call it a day, because I've been streaming for about five-ish hours. I at least need to take the headphones off my head to give my head a break. Um, but this has been going on for under a minute, you know, of two hours. So, uh, do you guys want to take a break and then go on some more, or do you want to call it a night? Because I mean. The, the stuff just keeps piling on, so, and stuff does culminate soon, but, um, I don't know if we'd be able to get to that point tonight, or not. Um, or do you want me to attempt <laughs> Monday, um, with my ISP? Chat, therefore, you guys aren't going fucking crazy. 